This is Golok, used in farming, landscaping, and a cultural attribute. This is Arit, also used in agriculture, even a symbol for farmers. And this is Pisau, just a regular kitchen knife. <laughs> no, they're not tools to hurt you. But along with other blades alike, they're an intergeneration heritage forged in the hands of traditional blacksmiths. Turun temurun dari uyut, kakek, orang tua sampai saya. About one hour south of Jakarta is Parigi Makar village at Tisaeng district, deep in the Bogor region. A seemingly quiet place with an unlikely name. Welcome to Machete Village. There are at least 30 blade shops here, most at the owner's backyards. But you won't find them with a sign. Just listen out to those bangs and clangs, and there it is. Minimal 91-an, Pak. Ini pun ya penerus orang tua lah. Ya pokok pertama mah arit. Ya arit, golok, ya model pisau caluk dah. Ya sebut barang besi dah, Pak. Gitu. Atang inherited a long line of blacksmiths. With only hand tools and a steely eye, the game here is all about precision. Ya pernah ngadu palu dah gitu ya. Ya intinya ngadu palu, pernah jidat, ya akhirnya kan namanya palu ya. Ya wajah dah, bonjol. Ya itu pak, emang bener. Selain sabar kagak ada lagi kalau kerja gini mah. Ya kalau nggak sabarnya mah ya kita kalau nggak sabar ya nggak jadi-jadi. Kita enjoy dah, kita bawanya. While Atang Shop is a two-man show, there's also another that's a mass production machine. This shop can forge up to 100 blades of all sorts in a day. And to let us in on this traditional method is Rolly, a third-generation blacksmith who also heads the village blacksmith organization. Kayaknya dari zaman merdeka seperti itu dari dari 45 ke bawah juga udah 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 mulai ada. Today they're making arit the same way they've always had for years. Here it goes. Every blade starts out from scrap leaf suspensions. With furnaces to soften the metals, they're cut into smaller pieces, then hammered into shape. Next is grinding and polishing before being sold. That's it. No molds, no measuring, just feel. Alhamdulillah, kalau dari paling sulit, nggak ada. Ya, emang harus seperti itu. Ya udah, emang udah, udah, udah dibicarakan, itu pandai, gitu. <laughs> pandai. Kalau dia belum bisa membentuk itu, dia bukan pandai, gitu. <laughs> Alright, we got you. Newer technologies are around, but Rolly is sure they won't fall short of buyers. Tapi kita nggak takut, seperti itu, karena bangsa pasar kita mas alhamdulillah masih banyak gitu. Kalau untuk pemasaran, tapi untuk produksi ini yang saya khawatirkan. Now that's the one thing there yet to be, regeneration. It seems that the younger people well just aren't interested in this century old heritage. That sure is a tough homework. But as long as people are still buying, the blacksmiths of Parigi village will go on blasting their furnaces and forging traditional blades indefinitely. Ya mudah-mudahan terjadi regenerasi gitu. Supaya kita nggak punah di desa Parigi Makar ini gitu seperti itu. <laughs>